Would you like to learn some useful idioms in English? Welcome to Jen Studio. My name is Jen and today I'm going to teach you 12 useful idioms connected to education and school. An idiom is a set of words that come together in English to create a new, unique, fixed expression. And often the meaning of an idiom is non-literal. For example, our first idiom for today is hit the books. However, it doesn't mean that you are hitting books. To hit the books means to study really, really hard. For example, oh man, I have a big test coming up next week. I better hit the books. Sorry, I can't attend the party tonight. I need to hit the books. Idiom number two is to rack your brain. If you rack your brain, it means that you are thinking very, very hard and thinking very, very deeply about something. So if you are taking a test, for example, and you think, oh, I know I studied this when I hit the books. The answer is right here somewhere. You are thinking a lot, racking your brain, trying to remember the answer. I've been working really hard on my essay, but I've been racking my brain to come up with a good thesis statement. Idiom number three is to draw a blank. Draw a blank. If you draw a blank, it means that you cannot remember something. For example, if you are writing a test and there's a question on the test and, oh no, I can't remember, I can't remember, you are drawing a blank. When defending his thesis, the professor asked him a question. Despite the fact that the answer had been on the tip of his tongue, he suddenly drew a blank and couldn't think of what to say. Idiom number four is to learn something by heart. If you learn something by heart, it means that you have it completely and thoroughly memorized. For example, many students have books like this and they try to memorize everything in them by heart. When I was in high school, one of my friends learned the entire periodic table of elements by heart. Idiom number five is to put your heads together or put our heads together. What this means is that you are cooperating with others. You're working together in a group to brainstorm. Brainstorm means to think of new ideas or to come up with a solution to a problem. My classmates and I put our heads together to create an amazing presentation. Idiom number six is to pull an all-nighter. If you pull an all-nighter, it means that you stay up all night long, working or studying. For example, when I was in my first year of university, unfortunately, I pulled a lot of all-nighters to try and finish essays. And then I was exhausted the next morning. If you're gonna pull an all-nighter, you need lots of coffee to stay awake. Idiom number seven is to burn the midnight oil. If you burn the midnight oil, it means that you are staying up really late in order to study or to finish some kind of work. You're not pulling an all-nighter. You will go to sleep, but not until later, maybe 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. So you are burning the midnight oil. In high school, I never pulled an all-nighter to study, but I often burned the midnight oil, staying up really late to try and finish things. Studying is important, but you have to stop burning the midnight oil and get some sleep. Idiom number eight is to burn the candle at both ends. Burn the candle at both ends. If you're burning the candle at both ends, it means that you are waking up very early every day, but also going to bed very late every night. If you continue burning the candle at both ends, eventually you will burn out and have no energy to do anything. When I was a high school student, I used to wake up early to go to jazz band or extra tutoring practice or choir. And I wouldn't go to bed till later because I would be busy studying. And my aunt always warned me, you need to stop burning the candle at both ends. It's not good for your health. 
Mm, I need a nap. I've been burning the candle at both ends almost every night this week and I'm exhausted. Idiom number nine is to pass with flying colors. Flying colors. What this means is that you were able to easily accomplish something. Specifically, you were very easily able to pass a test and get a really high score. So for me, math never came naturally, but my best friend was like a genius at math. So she always passed our math tests with flying colors. It was too easy for her. Eh, I didn't even study and I got 98% on the test. I totally passed with flying colors. Idiom number 10 is to ace a test. If you ace a test, it means that you are able to get a really high score. You're able to get over 90% or an A plus on the test. When I was a student, I had to study really, really, really hard in order to ace my test. After hitting the books and burning the midnight oil, he aced his exam. Idiom number 11 is the opposite of number 10. Idiom number 11 is to bomb a test or to flunk a test. If you bomb a test or flunk a test, it means that you have failed. Specifically, bomb is stronger than just flunk. If you bomb a test, it means that not only did you fail, but you failed a lot. So for example, if you only get like 20% on a test, you totally bombed the test. Despite studying hard and burning the candle at both ends, he completely bombed the test. It's no surprise that the class clown totally flunked the test. He never even paid attention in class. Idiom number 12 is to play hooky or to cut class. If you play hooky or cut class, it means that you are missing your class, skipping the class. You are purposely not attending the class in order to do something else. In the classic movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Ferris plays hooky and has great adventures. When I was a high school student, sometimes my friends would try to convince me to cut class and go to the mall with them. If you'd like to learn some more useful vocabulary connected to school and studying, please check out a video over here that I've made about university vocabulary. So today, you have learned more than 12 idioms connected to school and education. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, using expressions from today's lesson in the comments below, Please tell me about your study habits. Did you hit the books and burn the midnight oil? Or did you cut class and bomb your tests? Let me know about your study habits in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. If you found it useful, please subscribe to Jen's Jugio and give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with your English studies. See you in the next lesson.